An influencer's goal every day is to get and keep your attention, but how do they do it? There's a lot of different ways, blah, blah, blah. They do it by showing their feet. Feet come and go as trends on different platforms, some a lot more than others, but ever since COVID, I swear, I've been seeing a rise in the boldness of the foot community and the content they post. Somebody flipped the worldwide foot fetish switch because everybody and their mom started liking feet. All these platforms have some level of toe babble to them. Take Instagram, for example. In 2010, she was innocent, just like every other platform. Fast forward to 2024, and there's a quite a few bad apples in the bunch. I mean, Instagram was a pioneer in the feet community when it comes to people who gain popularity for showing their perfect pedicures. And I was young, and so I wasn't really aware of the content at the time to the extent that I am now. So there was minimal scrolling, but I'm sure even the ladies promoting their perfect pedicures didn't know that what they were doing was going to be just the start of what could be a foot-filled career. Though it is so rude for girls now to make tens of thousands of dollars monthly from guys like you who buy their pictures with their feet online. But don't think just pictures. Take Twitch for example, one of my favorite platforms. I can spend hours on there at a time watching or playing games. I love Call of Duty, so I don't spend a lot of time in other categories, but with just a few clicks, you might think you're on a completely different website. Other than the biggest creators who tend to stray away from sexually explicit content, the just chatting category is full of women doing what you would think would be teetering the lines in the terms of service. And it's crazy considering in everyone's eyes, Twitch is a gaming website, like what? Twitch even had a few days where body paint was allowed and the whole internet knew where it was gonna go, but Twitch didn't, I guess. And they got slammed because what happened next was insane. They were already so close and the next thing you know, you see girls painted, of course, doing whatever they please for subs. My point is the state of influence on Twitch is odd because they're killing it in some areas, but in some areas it's lacking moderation and it kind of gives it a distasteful vibe. Now I won't say all of them, but a lot of y'all's favorite influencers, Snapchats are real flashy when it comes to the women and the toes and the red circle with no reward. And it's it's honestly exhausting being the guy who has to document all this stuff for times like this. Snapchat is one of the best platforms for influencers to reach their audience and one of the biggest culprits when it comes to intensifying the foot culture. Take Sarah Safari, for example. She started out as an innocent gym influencer with rock hard morals, just like her abs. Pause, I know, but let me cook. She's not an explicit influencer and made that clear from the start of her career. But I've seen myself the waver in her resolve regarding the protection of her dogs. And it's not super out there or in your face like some of her constituents, but it was enough to notice, so I'm sure I'm not the only one. It's not Sarah's fault though. This is the state of influencing in 2024. Money talks and Snapchat is shelling out cash for feed pics. So here's a secret and listen closely. If you see a nice lady on a Snapchat story, or a nice hit of toes and a red circle in the background, do yourself a favor, keep scrolling, don't bite the hook, don't take the bait. We all know how SpongeBob and Patrick ended up. Maybe you just get off Snapchat completely. It's not a productive app. Stop your shit, stories are clickbait. TikTok though, TikTok will keep you entertained with dances and lawn mowing and gaming and feet stuff and yeah, I said it. I said it, feet stuff. Purely trend based over there and honestly, some of them are, are a little disturbing. Nonetheless, Nah, it's the fact that TikTok has feet trends, period. There'll be a trend, and then it'll take a completely different form, perform with feet. Like, who came up with the rating my friend's toes trend and had the nuts to post it? Like, I'm, and I'm just gonna assume the guy who came up with that trend came up with the, hey, hey, hey trend, or, or the phone trend, and all the other toe trends on TikTok. TikTok has accepted feet from the jump, and for that, I am very appreciative. Versus on a platform like YouTube, where people make all types of foot content. You know, you got the foot judges like me who give you objective opinions. Then you got the bull who go out in public and ask people to review their feet. That's fucking insane. Then you got the educational foot content. You know, probably I've never been to that side of the internet, so I can't really speak, speak on it much, but I gave you the main pillars that I've seen in the foot community. The state of influence on YouTube is in such a worse spot in my opinion. Are you really influencing though, if you aren't using the power of the toe? Why do people like feet? That's what you should be asking because if they didn't, then they wouldn't click. But that's not the case. The answer is simple. It's been one of the underlying things in every beautiful person to walk this earth and that is symmetry. Here's the thing about symmetry. You don't even realize you're attracted to it because it's so subconsciously ingrained in our DNA. No different from a great set of hands, a beautiful set of toes is 
undeniable. All these platforms have allowed creators to monetize their feed like they're selling a course or merch and no, they're selling a single picture of a single body part to a very specific group of people. With the explosion of feed online, the people posting these feed pics have become much, much, much more conscious of the facts and not just the pros, the everyday Karens and Beckys who posted the dogs in the TL without second guessing. Now they double tape, they think twice, and if they don't have a fresh pedicure, I guarantee those dogs are not going on the timeline. And it's just sad, man. It really is. And God forbid the feet just so happened to be in the picture and it was a close up, chalk it up. Those pictures are fucking cooked. My whole point with this video is to point out that when feet became more mainstream, everybody started becoming more conscious of their feet online, which in my opinion is bad because no one should care what other people think of them. As the platforms continue to change algorithmically and the masses taste and toes, so influencing in 2024, but will people follow you just because you have a nice set of dogs, in my professional opinion? Definitely.